things like that. That was me. Um, but then there's people out there that are like, oh, no, let's get on Instagram or Facebook or Tinder or Bumble or, um, let me think, uh, anything really, I'm sure. There's many things out there that, that people can get on there and like really just like make a whole personality about themselves. And I always wonder why. Why, 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 why? Um, well, first of all, well, at least not first of all, I just said that three times. Okay, so second of all, I'm going to go over, because today I did write notes and I'm actually reading them. So I'm getting better because last time I just wrote the notes and then didn't look at them at all. Um, so we know what catfishing is. It's basically about deceiving, luring um, people into uh, a false, a false like, you know, reality, I guess. And um, why it's not only wrong, it's also quite bizarre um, that people would spend their time doing this. Um, what is their motivation? Are they motivated, um, you know, like, he, 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 look what I can do. I mean, which is pretty sick if you think about it. Um, are they motivated because they don't like themselves and they want to reinvent themselves? Um, who knows? I mean, if there's any catfishes out there that want to give me any comments back, I will be like so happy to read those. So we're at Sherry Talks. We're on YouTube. It's my new channel. Um, I'm going to basically talk about anything. Um, I feel like I'm a very positive person. So this is not a negative um, thread or anything. This is not something that I'm trying to say why are people like this. I'm saying that if you do these things, listen up. If you do these things in your DMs, you are most likely to get blocked. Block, block, blocked, especially by me, because I don't waste time and I don't like time wasters, but I do love people and I have nothing but nice things to say about nice people and honest people and upfront people. And that means you can be whoever you are. And, and, and as long as you do it in a respectful way, I'm happy to talk to you and I'm happy to spend my time talking to you. However, you couldn't even pay me to talk to you if I believe that you are full of shit. Yes, I said it. All right. So my favorite questions, and I'm just randomly saying this. Um, how big are your boobs? Oh, I love that question. Especially when the, the first thing they, it's the first thing they ask me. And I've never spoken to them before. And they've literally seen all my pictures on Instagram. And then that is the question that they think, <laughs> that they think, <laughs> I'm going to spend any time not only answering, um, that person's getting immediately blocked, just saying, immediately blocked. Now, that's one side of it. So what would be the first question to ask? How's your day? Obviously, that's a great one. I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's basic. And you don't come off like you're, you know, um, you know, like, a super person or anything superhuman or like you're witty or whatever but it is kind of a nice conversation starter which is why i loved i thought i loved the question how can i make you happy today now mind you in saying that question to me it did spark off many things firstly being well i've never spoken to you i don't know who you are we don't have any kind of thread we're not having a conversation and then you're like, how can I make you happy today? Which would make more sense. And I haven't even accepted you into my DMs yet. But because I'm very curious, I absolutely did let that person come into my DMs. And then I answered, well, that's a loaded question, which makes me sound witty and mysterious as well. But also because I'm like, I know that there are people out there that are just time wasters and I'm just, if I'm going to say anything, I'm going to be something like a little sassy. I'm going to be sassy. Oh, I'm going to be sassy. All right. So, yeah. So let's just say, let's go back. Never spoke to this person before. You let them in. Um, and the first question is how big are your boobs? All right. Oh, my God. My mind. <laughs> Now, why? First of all, you've just seen like a hundred or so pictures of me. 
on my feed. That makes me think, did you even look at my feed or just you randomly go out and just, is this the, the first thing that comes into your mind? Probably instantly going to get blocked. Instantly. Block, 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 block. You're blocked. That's it. We're not having no conversation. I'm not even going to answer that question. All right. And then, and then the next question that I love is, would you like to meet? Now, again, if you're not having a conversation and there's no thread with this particular person, that will make me go and look at their page. I mean, I go look at everyone's page anyway, especially if I'm having a conversation with them and probably before I'll even have a conversation with them. Even if they don't ask a silly question, I'll still look. All right. Now, if they have no posts and they're following a bunch of people and their page is private, eh, danger, danger, danger alert, stranger alert. I don't know how to say that, but I get like eebie-jeebies about that. So I might ask a question, why don't you have any posts up? And now I want to add, what are you hiding exactly? But anyway, I'll ask that question. Um, and then I'll also look at where they may be located in the world. And come to find out, they are like thousands of miles away from me. So that, depending on my mood, <laughs> may make me block them. Or I might toy with them a little, just because they're lame. And they've asked me if I would like to meet and they're literally thousands of miles away. So how do I answer that question other than being a smart ass? So, you know, would you like to meet? Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Love to. You're going to fly me over there. Uh, you, you're going to catch a plane, you know, you're going to catch your, your private jet and, and whisk me off. We've never even met. We've never even talked. And then all of a sudden we're going to meet. Yeah. Right. And in COVID times, Ridiculous question, ridiculous waste of time. I believe that is called a catfish. Just saying, tick off with that question. All right, I don't know if you're comm commenting to me. It doesn't even matter. Um, if you're watching, I love it. And um, yay. And I'll get so much more on the replay. I know that. So I'm just, I'm happy. And then, and then another one, and this is not necessarily on like um, anything other than a dating site. And now if you're like me, I go on dating sites because I know that there are people that are smart and intelligent and kind. And I've met a lot of good people on, on dating sites, even though I don't really necessarily go on there to date. Uh, when I moved back to California from Kauai, I realized that I didn't have a lot of friends that were still here. So I wanted to meet new people. And so I got on Tinder and um, and I also like put in my profile. I was like, I'm not here to waste time. So don't catfish me. No, I'm not here to waste time. That was the underlying message though. <laughs> but I am here to meet new people. And I know that there are lots of great people in the world. I mean, we're talking about the minority here. I, I truly believe that. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm making fun of them because... Maybe if they're watching um, later or if they watch, you know, I mean, if they watch at all, I mean, they probably won't come on, but they're hiding behind their computer screen. So why not? I'm going to promote this everywhere and I have promoted it everywhere. So hopefully people will. Um, so I think we should hook up. Well, that's kind of like a more saucy way of saying and inferring, you know, Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Again, locale. Where are you located? Now, if you're on Tinder and you've put your radius to a short radius around you, you know, then obviously what does that mean? Booty call. It means, in my mind, well, I don't really want to get to know you. And I just, you know, I'm so vacuous and I... I'm thinking with my small head that um, I just want to get laid, basically. And I'm not really that kind of girl. You kind of have to put in quite a lot more effort to get into that conversation and a lot more time. And that's even if I even give you time, because as I said, 
I'm like pretty much, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got my radar on because I've already wasted enough time. <laughs> I've wasted enough time already. I don't have a lot more time to waste. So I think we should hook up. What's this say? Oh, yeah, location. I already went through that. And this is like my ultimate favorite. And I always say this, especially when, I, when I'm on anything. Like, I just make fun of it so very much. Because it's okay to say, do you want to meet? Or even do you want to hook up? I mean, I'm going to say no and block you. That's fine. But this one is like, just makes me laugh. And depending again on the mood. <laughs> on my mood. <laughs> I might entertain it for a second. Only to make people that are writing these questions or sending these DMs to me think for a minute to try to educate them as to how ridiculous this particular question is. And that is, are you married? Now, even if I've been having a conversation with somebody for a minute and they ask me that, I'll be like, yes or no, right? But when they first come on and they're like, hey, you look lovely. How big are your boobs? I think we should hook up. Are you married in that order or not in that order? I will ask myself this. And I'll be like, do you really think I'm on this social media site platform to find a husband? I mean, now I know people do go on dating sites to find the love of their life and everything. But I think that normally people that are looking for that are on the more serious dating sites and uh, not adult friend finder or anything like that. Because uh, we all know what those are, right? Um, even though I'm on them, um, not on them, I mean, I'm on Tinder, um, which to be honest, I like spend two minutes on there and I'm bored. Uh, I'm bored. I like, I'm like, why am I even on here? I don't know. Obviously, I'm bored just to get on there. But again, also to get material for this and for my, my stand-up show, which I'm going to be doing, which will definitely include this particular topic. Um, so are you married? Yeah, yeah, I'm not married. I was like, I was on Instagram because uh, I'm looking for an husband. Where are you? Where are you located? Dubai. <laughs> oh, really? Well, the joke's on you, sucker, because I can't give you a green card. I was, I'm not actually American, but if you had at least looked at anything that I have posted, hmm, I think you could realise that I am actually British and I don't make any secret of it on my websites. Or, I mean, on my profiles yeah i'm british so i can't get you into the country so again uh blah 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 now sometimes i think sometimes i think um well you should keep these people because those people will probably be the ones who go and join your youtube but then i'm like but then i'd have to turn my comments off because i really couldn't stand getting comments dumb comments um, I mean, I can understand if people don't like what I do, and I'm, and I'm really, I'm very honest. I'm just like, if you don't like me, there's so many people out there. Go find someone you like. I mean, really, again, don't waste my time. And I don't really want to have to block on YouTube. I'm on there to like really do this, which is like a service, and it's fun, and it's therapy for me. And if people like it, then it's great like i'm doing it but I, i'm doing it for my own reasons and because i'm having fun and because i want to have my, my voice and um yeah that's all so <laughs> are you married love it blocked no what else what else what else have i got here uh, oh yeah so i was just saying so if you're going to ask people are they married you should probably be on a um a dating site doesn't matter which one and in your profile just put i am looking for a life partner i am looking for a serious relationship that's way you know i don't swipe right i mean sometimes i do it by accident and i'm like oh i wish i'd bought in a bought you know like 
whatever membership so I could swipe left and by accident I did it by accident um but you should be on a dating site and you probably should put it in your profile because I do read uh, people's profiles before I'll swipe right because I don't want to I want to make sure that I'm not swiping right for somebody that is not going to be um you know somebody that I want to meet I mean again don't want to waste people's time um profiles are there to give you an idea so you should be honest in them and don't catfish it is rude. I'm very rude. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not getting mad. I just want to let people out there know that time is valuable. It's a valuable commodity. You never get it back. Do I need to say this again, people? Next. Oh, yeah, I already went over that. Today's question, how can I help you? Now, let's go and see. Let's go and see what... What's the answer? Let's go live on a social media site here, shall we? I'm not going to mention which one. But let's just go through some actual DMs. All right. I'm going to my DMs. Going to my DMs. I'm in such a great mood today. All right. So should we go back in time? We'll go back in time for a minute. I mean, I've probably blocked most of these people, or at least restricted them. So let's look and see if I have any people... No, because I don't really don't waste time. I'm gonna go. I've got another page of a whole bunch of pages of stuff. All right, let's see. So, this is one that is uh, current. All right, so let's start at the beginning of the thread. Oh, this. Oh, I love these guys. The and they're really bots because if you ask them an actual like specific question, they can't really answer it because they're robots and they don't really understand specifics. So here we go. This is back in June of last year. And it says, hi, we will upload your photos on our big accounts and add swipe up stories to your OnlyFans. Would you like to get featured on our big 3 million network on Instagram? Heart, heart, heart. Are you interested in growing your OnlyFans? This was at... 3.47 a.m. Um, so I send them a link to my OnlyFans because I'm like, you don't even know what my OnlyFans is. You know, you know I have one, but you don't even know. And then I, I got an instant reply back, instant reply. It said, I will upload your pictures on my 21 pages. And then it sends me, I need my glasses. Hold on. Hold on one moment. Because I love these. These are great. These are perfect. And I like have specific questions for them just to see what the robots will answer, what the bots will answer back. And they can't answer. It's fabulous. All right. So, all right. Oh, come on now. I've lost it. Okay, here we go. All right, back. So it's called, uh, I'm not going to say what it's called. That's not right. All right. That's not right. Okay, here we go. Going back. So, I will upload pictures on my 21 pages. It completely disregards my OnlyFans that I sent him. And then they got one, and they, they send me all these pages, right? We will post your pictures on our network, so our audience will be able to see your pictures on our network. And they would like to connect with you. Now, no, no punctuation whatsoever. None. And again, we your we upload your photos, heart heart, on our accounts. Bam, and you will increase your followers or customers. Again, no punctuation. Not very good English. Starting to realize I'm speaking to a robot. And these are all without like I mean they're literally sent all at the same time. And immediately after I sent my link, which was overlooked, guaranteed heart face to increase from 400 to 5,000 followers, fire followers or 40 underscore 70 heart only fans, subscribers or customer blam. It's only $18. By this way, our followers, Blue Heart, will notice you. Oh, I got a, I got a comma, one comma. You'll get a huge response and get many fans. 
Don't know what that is. You, I don't read emojis. I'm sorry. I do not read them. I do not write them. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I write ones that are bizarre, like little unicorns and owls, which means one of a kind, wise person, in my mind. Your OnlyFans will grow rapidly, and your content will be famous. Thanks. Are you interested? And that was that was one, one text, one message. I said, and this is true. I lost my credit card and wallet, hence why I'm now doing my own promo. And then he says, then I not do free. <laughs> and I said, me neither, good. <laughs> he said, how many you give now? And I said, call me if you really want to discuss business. And then I give my number. And he said, okay, but in... When do robots have free time? I want to know. So I think it started off as a robot. And then I actually sent my link. And then some other person, obviously, that doesn't speak very good English. How many you give? Free time? Oh, loving it, loving it. That's just one. Let's go back. This is brilliant. I actually do entertain myself and um, in my free time. <laughs> but my purpose is to, is to just, like, out all the crazy people. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's see. All right. And this is me because I was sharing this actual, um, this live feed. I was sharing it. And um, so I can't really see what they were. But I'm just going to go randomly. Randomly. Oh, 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 here's one. Here's a great one. Oh, I love this. Hello, beautiful. I'm Byron. I'm like, hi. How are you, my princess? Now, this particular guy has no posts, doesn't have a picture, doesn't have a following, and um, but I'm beautiful, and I'm his beautiful, which, no, I'm not. So let's go back. And this is like September 9, 2019, okay? I have restricted this guy. So it's funny. So it says, um, so, to that, so September 13th, he's like, how are you, my princess? I'm like, I'm good. He's like, great, my. And this is immediately back. Hello, beautiful, I'm Byron. Same thing that I got on the 9th. I'm like, hi, what's up? Same back. How are you, my queen? I'm like, hi, Byron. Tell me about you. I'm a good boy. Boy, question mark. <laughs> yes, my princess. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> and then I said, I thought I was a queen. Am I being demoted or are you just getting younger? Because <laughs> I was a queen. I was a queen. Oh, I was a queen on November 13th at 8.28 p.m. <laughs> And now on November 18th, I'm now a princess and he's a boy. And so I, um, yeah. So I bet, so then basically on November 25th, he says, I love you. So I'm like, restrict, restrict this boy who thinks I'm a princess and not a queen. How dare he? with his no posting ass. Again, ridiculous. And that was just random. Let's see, let's see if I can find something else here. All right, let's see what I got. Tut, 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 tut. Now I do, now don't get me wrong. I do have some really cool people that I actually do have conversations with and have had conversations with for, uh, you know, a year or two or whatever. It's very polite. There's actual words and sentences and, and, and it makes sense. And it's really just about how are you? I'm great. How are you? How's your day? And, you know, and in more in depth as you get to know each other, which is what I believe direct messages are for. Ding. Really? Um, all right, here we go. And um, bizarre, bizarro. All right, let's see. Oh, here's one. 
Oh, yeah. So this is quite awesome. This guy is like, he obviously wrote to me and he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm editing. And then I went and I looked at his page and he's got some, he's got quite a lot of posts. And I followed him because he followed me. And I went through his posts as an artist and I literally liked them and commented like normal people do. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? I don't get these people. And he's got like 577 posts. He's got, he's followed by 575 people and he's following 524 people. So basically all across the board, I'm actually going to um, get notifications for when he posts, which is a new thing that just came up. So when you follow people, you can actually, and it's kind of like subscribing on YouTube. When you subscribe, what you're doing is you're making sure that you get notifications on the people that you're interested in. You don't have to do it with everybody. You can subscribe and not get all the notifications. Um, but anyway, so I'm getting the notifications on this guy and I've definitely been through and liked the pictures that I actually liked, which is, you know, he hasn't said anything bad to me. So anyway, he says, have you finished editing yet? And then I send him a really cool uh, little clip that I had edited previously because I'm like, why not? He hasn't asked me for anything. He hasn't, he hasn't asked me if I, if I want to marry him, meet him up, for drink, meet him for drinks, uh, hook up um, or anything. He's asking me things that are actually um, pertaining to what I wrote back. So I know he's a real person, he's not a robot, he's not rude. We're going to give him a big thumbs up as to what you do on DMs. You just got to start. I'm not going to mention his name, but I will send him. I'm going to, I'm going to send him a little DM and I'm going to say, well, well done. You get well done. Well done, boo. You are a DM guru. And that kind of sounds bizarre, but I think he's got a brain, so he'll probably think it's funny because I'm going to put LOL. Of course, if you put LOL after anything, it's a joke, right? Or, you know, tongue-in-cheek, sassy pants. Well done, boo. You, you are... Okay, now I'm not writing correct English. You are a... Hold on. You are a... DM Guru, you should give masterclass. <laughs> and I, I hate writing, so I'm just going to say it. Nope, that's not it. You should give a masterclass. And it came out a Mr. Class, but that's all right. I've got an English accent. Um, oh, no, it came out. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. This is ridiculous. Hold on. Okay, so we've had a robot and we've got a good guy. So that's one for one at the moment. Um, I wish that I could say that those are the statistics. I would really like that. Then this would be a null and void um, podcast, vlog, whatever. But I enjoy seeing you. So let's go back. What have we just said? What have we said? Oh, yeah, so I've literally been there. Oh, I get through. I get through it so fast. I'm actually not going to spend like a whole hour on here like I did last time because then I was just rambling, talking nonsense. Okay, so, oh, this is a good one. So we've gone through promotion. People want to promote for you, right, who have no idea who you are, what you're doing. Um, you just happen to come up in a frigging, you know, somebody's list. Um, so the next one I love, and I used to get these all the time when I first started, and I was actually really excited about them because I was like, oh, somebody wants me to be an ambassador. An ambassador? I mean, who doesn't want to be an ambassador? That's, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I was like really new and I thought that was great. And I was going to like ambassador for like many people. I was like, oh, I'm going to be rich. I was so excited about it. So excited because I'm like, oh, I could do jewelry and I could do swimwear and oh, this will be great. It's brilliant. Unfortunately, just another scam. This is my favorite for the ambassadors. So I just, I went on YouTube. I go on YouTube for everything, like anything I want to know. Even if I'm whatever, if I'm busy, whatever, I just put it on, 
and I just listen to it. And I may like go to many different people who are on the same same topic. Um, but really, it's like my my place for like everything, whatever I want to know. How to use my drill, you know, DIY, bloody at home uh, remedies for things, uh, all sorts of stuff, whatever. Learning how to create a YouTube channel, learning how to monetize it, how to create a thumbnail, you name it, list is longer. But ambassadors, when they first came on my radar and in my DMs, they did get me for a minute, they did. But because I like to question everything, and the more and more I realized that they also were robots as well, um, I went on YouTube and I, I put in, um, uh, what is an ambassador, I think, something like that. And so I got like these things like how I, how don't do we uh, I've been I've been you know people that were on YouTube and people that were on all the other social medias they got roped in these girls they got roped in just like I almost did thank God for these girls that posted um you know videos upon YouTube saying uh don't do it and I love people that do that saying don't and that's what I'm doing right now I'm saying please if you're out there catfishing don't do it it's incredibly rude. It really doesn't get you anywhere, especially with people like me, because I won't even like give. Once I get like the, um, I will literally give two minutes of my time maximum. That's if I even give that. Usually it's instantly block, instantly, like because I just don't waste my time. And I don't think people should. And I think people should definitely read between the lines, look at the punctuation, really read, you know, the way that people are writing things and at the timing that they're writing them and just realize that there are people out there and and more than more than more often than not um if you feel something if your intuition tells you something you're probably probably right okay so ambassadors let's get back because i almost got got into this um so what is that exactly um my research on youtube tells me that it's not good, that it's a scam. And I can see that uh, because what they ask you to do, and, and I didn't get them for a while because I was like giving them, like I was literally like writing back to them and saying, look, if I, because they, they write you, I mean, the second that you send a text back or DM back, they will, they will have sent you another text asking you for money before you've even finished replying. So they're not even waiting. It's just like, top, you know, again, probably a bot. Um, and it's programmed to do that. So we're not mad at the bots at all. The bots are fine. Lovely bots. But um, so my research tells me that it's not a good thing. So they, they say, um, go to our site. Here's the link. And pick whatever you want, three items. And we'll give you 30% off those items and then you can give your code to your friends and family. Oh, yeah, I can imagine my friends and family like having a field day without one if I tried to. Yeah, thinking back, that was not such a great idea. <laughs> but I love the way they tell you to do it to your friends and family. You're like, as if I didn't have enough friends and family issues, I'm not going to let you come in between them. Ridiculous. So anyway, so, but your friends and family then with your code can get another 50% off or whatever, or they can get 30% off like you do. And so I'm like, oh, and you have to pay shipping and handling as well. So let's break that down for a minute. So you want me to go and look at a site for a product that I never ever thought that I might need. And if I do need it, guess what? I will go and find that product online. If I'm looking for a bikini and that's my in my mind, I'm probably going to go and um, search bikinis or I'm going to go to somewhere I know sells bikinis online and I'm going to buy a bikini. But what you're saying to me is, no, let me influence you. <laughs> you haven't even bought me a cup of tea yet. <laughs> you haven't even spent five minutes trying to get to know me a little bit. But you know that I like bikinis because my site on Instagram is about a girl in a bikini. My site, Show Foss channel, is about a girl in a bikini. So yes, of course, bikinis are a thing. And yeah, who doesn't like to buy bikinis if that's your whole thing? 
So all jewelry or whatever. I mean, you know, but I'm not really looking for that. It's not Christmas. I'm not trying to buy gifts for anybody. So they're suggesting that I now take my time and go to their site and pick a few things, which seems like it's kind of nice. But then I'm like, okay, I've got to pay shipping and handling. So on an item that I might get 30% off of, um, if I pay the shipping and handling, I've literally now spent more in shipping and handling. So I actually haven't got anything for free. And now I have to wait for it to come. So that's one thing. I haven't actually done this. I haven't actually put paid shipping and handling. I've definitely got to pick products. I, there was an Apple Watch on there for like $200 and the shipping was like 20 bucks. And I was like thinking, oh, I could do that. And then I could sell the Apple Watch on my store for 100 bucks. So, you know, I'll have made 80 bucks and someone will get it for $100 cheaper. And I was going to do it. I didn't do it because then I went and researched. And so I, I listened to a bunch of people who had done it. And they said that they had paid the money, the shipping and handling. And they're like, same as me, going to be an ambassador. And so they got the they got the jewelry and it was like pieces of like not great quality, not great quality pieces of jewelry, let's say that. And so they weren't impressed and they wasted a bunch of money. And so I started writing back to these ambassadors. I was like, no, I don't, um, I'm not interested. And so they, those bots did not listen. They were reprogrammed to come after me again. And so they were like, okay, fine. You don't want to pay. You don't want to pay. Uh, you don't want 30% off. We'll give you 100% off. But you still have to pay shipping and handling. And I'm like, better, but uh, don't want to. Don't feel like it. So I'm like, no, thanks. I'm, I'm good. And then they're like, what are you going to buy? And I'm like, I just said no. <laughs> but are you going to buy? Do you want to buy? Have you have you have you bought it yet? Have you gone there? Look, I'm like, oh my goodness, mate. So I'm just like, at this point, I'm like, don't really need to restrict a robot. Um, it's all about learning stuff, you know. You don't learn uh, sometimes unless you make mistakes, or this is just a great way of like learning how, what not to do online. So then. I've been getting, I wasn't getting it for a while because I was being, no, no, no. And so they're like, we're going to stop bothering her because she's obviously not going to buy it. So just recently in the last week, I started getting them again. I don't know what caused that. I don't know how all of a sudden I'm back on their radar. Um, but the, this is the new thing that I notice. It's like, so not only do they want you to do all this where they're sending you for free and you're paying shipping and handling or whatever, um, or giving you a discount code for friends and family. But now they're like, Give us your credit card number and then we will remove the price once we have your credit card number. How often does that happen? That brings me to a whole other topic of like a whole other topic, but I'm going to leave that there for now. But yeah, hmm, ding dong. All right. I have really exhausted this for now um just tell me what you think let me know in the comments if you've had um experiences similar to this if you've had um you know any other experiences that, that i have mentioned here today um this is not going to be the first time i talk about this because literally i am fascinated with this topic I'm fascinated as to why people do it. And really, what I'd love to educate people. But just know this. If you are DMing me in any of my social media platforms and you don't come with, you don't have to be witty. You can just be like, how are you today? Now, I might not necessarily read that immediately. But believe me, if I read something like that, I'm going to respond at some point when I'm in that particular message box. I am going to respond. Um, it doesn't matter what platform I'm on, you're going to get a response from me. If you do any of this stuff, and I advise everyone out there to do the same, I am going to block you without hesitation. Um, and we're never going to get to talk. So don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. Don't waste anybody's time. Okay, I'm going to go now. It's Sherry Talks. I'm just going to say all lives matter. I'll see you next time.
And if you haven't seen this live, see it in the replay. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Oh, my God. Have a great night. I love you. And now I can't get it off.